Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Grain Steel. So on this episode, um, my buddy Tim that I went to school with, he's uh, building a new house. And uh, I had come about two years ago and I cleaned up a house foundation for him on this property. Well, <clears throat> they've decided that they're going to build a new house and where the house is going to sit uh, is going to be right in this area right here. And they've decided they want to get rid of this old concrete driveway slash patio, whatnot, whatever you want to call it. So they had thought about keeping it, but it's got a lot of cracks in it, and they just decided that they wanted to get rid of it. So at the time when I cleaned the foundation up, we just left the pad, which is fine. So now we're here today, and we're going to get started on breaking up this concrete pad, or driveway, I guess it's a driveway also. So it goes all the way on around out to the road. So we're going to get that all broke up, cleaned up, graded off. And then we've got a tree there, a tree here that's got to come out. And then there's several trees around that all have pink axes on them. Those all have to go. So we're going to uh, get this cleaned up for them so that they can get their new house put in and they're going to be making a new driveway through here and just so happens that big tree's got to go so it's hollow anyways but that's where they want the driveway so we're going to have to get rid of that tree but as of right now the problem is is when the gas line was retired by the gas company they didn't retire it all the way out at the road they retired it somewhere here in the yard and they're not quite sure exactly where they did it so nobody must have measured from their main out to see how far it was so that's the big question right now so what we're probably going to end up doing is just cutting this tree off flush i'll bring the 661 we'll cut it off we'll push it over with the hoe and then they'll just have to have it ground out by a stump grinding company, which I don't have a stump grinder or I could. So all these trees go on around here, and uh, then we'll grade it all off. The house is going to sit somewhere in this area right here. So they've hired me to come back and, and make stuff happen. So I've got the 200 Hitachi here. I've got the T300 Bobcat sitting behind it. And we've got the dump truck, so uh, I've already sent Dad Strength with a load of just some ashes that needed to be disposed of, as they had nails and stuff in them. So let's get started. I'll get the camera set up, and we'll get started breaking this concrete up and uh, getting this home site cleaned up and ready for a new house to be planted on it.
So since this concrete's so thin and breaks up so easy, I just decided to switch back to my bucket. Because for one thing, one thing with the grapples, I can't really grab it and squeeze it without breaking it. So we'll just use the bucket on this. Grapples are nice though because they let the dirt out. But if I'm really gentle, I can get I can get this to concrete without the dirt. There's still some pad in there that's not broke up. do what we can clean up wise with the excavator and then I brought the skeleton bucket for the uh, for the uh, skid steer and it's all right if we get some dirt in it Just the more dirt we take with us is the less we less concrete we get per load and the more fill that we gotta bring back. getting recycled it'll get crushed and turned into a driveway aggregate or riprap for washouts rough for the camera because we're sitting on concrete so it's kind of like sitting out in the dirt you can 
with that root. finish loading him and then uh, we'll get uh, some more concrete broke up well we got rid of a lot of the concrete um, it's going pretty good getting rid of it quick so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw the skeleton bucket on the Bobcat and clean up all these crumbs and kind of grade this out a little bit we're not gonna get too crazy crazy grading it because they still gotta dig a uh, crawl space and stuff and and We'll just wait until the final grade to get really fancy with it and make it perfect. So uh, for right now, we'll just rough it out. So I'm gonna throw that bucket on and uh, get to the, get this cleaned up.
well there we go that's gonna be it for today uh, so tomorrow we'll get the rest of this concrete cleaned up we'll get them trees out and stuff we got a pile of trees here I need to cut up I want to make them shorter so they'll stack up nicer and uh, burn better so uh, we don't have very much space here to burn so the smaller the tighter the pile we can keep the better off we are so uh, I gotta go help my sister with some flower farm stuff yet this evening and I'm uh, gonna go look at another truck so I uh, found me another truck that I think I might get to uh, replace the gold one I'm not sure yet just really haven't been in love with the gold one all that much kind of feels like an old man truck I kind of feel like I should be taking Centrum Silver and pulling a fifth wheel camper when I drive it. So I uh, found me another another Ford, another F-250 Power Stroke. So uh, it's all black. It's pretty sweet looking. So I think I'm going to go look at that one and uh, maybe potentially replace the gold one. So uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this episode of Dirt Grain Steel, give me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue on this project and uh, try to get her wiped out. So we'll see what happens. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.